Okay, okay, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for the fourth Dasu's community space. Thank you so much for your patience while you saw me work through um, many personal technical issues. Personal issues? Personal technical issues? <sighs> Long story short, um, if you ever listen to one of uh, our spaces, um, you know, especially Dennis and I have the air horns ready to go. And for some reason, I'm really heartbroken this afternoon because my uh, memory card decided to uh, not un unformat itself. So there we go. So Dennis, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna rely heavily on you <laughs> for the air air horn uh, aspect of, of our spaces. Oh, 100 percent. You know, I got that ready <laughs> to go. God. I also have oh, a party man. favor because <laughs> I like New Year's. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Thanks so much. So once again, thanks everyone for joining us for the next community space. I am joined by Dennis and Jack. Jack, how are you today? I'm good, Ryan. I'm good, Dennis. How are you guys? We have some Our Force One news, and I think the people are as excited as I am. I'm hopeful I don't get rugged with my one of four bars of service because I have three articles on my computer that I'd love to reference points from. And then we can even try and get them in tweets and get them pinned so that the people can see the resources that are available to all of us. Yeah, absolutely. Dennis, how are you today? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm super hyped because we got some news today right on time. Like it, you couldn't have picked a better time to schedule this space. So I'm pumped. What's up, Jack? Let's go. I'm pumped. <laughs> Yeah, and to be clear, everyone, um, this is a community-run space. Um, we we are not official spokespeople for Nike. Uh, funny enough, we were uh, having a conversation in the DMs uh, last week about when we should have the next one, and um, you know, we kind of just landed on today just because it <laughs> worked out the best for us. Um, but you know, I, I think I think the uh, the NFT Twitter gods were were. Uh, <laughs> We're, we're looking upon us and they said, you know what, let, let's let's show these guys a bone. Let's let's show them some love. And speaking of love, you know, thanks. Thanks, everyone, for showing up. We see a lot of familiar faces. Alts, Dichotomy, Gem, House, Outsiders, Cuts. We appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. And, um, you know, to continue today's discussion. Um, yeah, like Jack said, we have a lot to talk about, and this is part of the reason why we do these spaces. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion in the last couple of months uh, regarding that swoosh and the OF1 that, you know, just today so much news came out. So we like to take this opportunity with these community spaces to make sure that everyone's on the same page regarding this information. Um, and as always, you know, especially when there's a, uh, a hot new mint or a hot new release, uh, we want to make sure you're getting the, the official information. And while we are not official spokespeople, we do have we do want to share all of the official information that's available to us so far. And like Jack uh, mentioned, um, we are we are just, I would say, hours away from the OF1 uh, airdrop. So let's uh, let's let's uh, take a step back. I think it'd be a good time for us to kind of um, rewind a little bit and f you know see how we ended up here, right? So as we all know, uh, Dot Swoosh is Nike's Web three initiative. Um, they started uh, late last year uh, with their events, sending out uh, access codes, and those were those were done through a variety of means. Right. So there was a there was a number of IRL events that the uh, uh, called SWOOS sessions that you could attend uh, through various areas uh, throughout the United States, mostly in um, sneaker boutiques. And uh, the, the main aim for those was to really get people who aren't necessarily a Web3 native to become introduced to uh, Web3 and NFTs and how Nike can use them. Also, um, there's there are a lot of us have joined through uh, access codes uh, being requested uh, directly from Nike. If you have a previously existing Nike account, uh, you could go to the .swoosh uh, website and re request uh, be put on a wait list for a code. 
And uh, I'm seeing a lot of uh, clones in the audience already. And uh, just a little while ago as well, there was a snapshot taken of all clone holders. And they as well were given access uh, to uh, the, the dot swoosh ecosystem already. Uh, Jack, am I miss missing anything right now? I don't have anything, but I think Dennis does. Okay. Yeah, Dennis, what's up? Yeah, what's up? I was just going to tell everyone to drop in your dot swoosh IDs and those snapshots in the comments, and uh, let's see those names. I, I want to see who's over here ready, w waiting for some airdrops to happen. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and again, and, and while we're on that topic, I, I do want to uh, give, give a shout out to uh, a lot of the, um, actually the clone creators. Um, they Even before any of this have been announced, uh, a lot of you have been kind of taking the initiative and, and kind of running, running with it. Um, and creating your own, you know, your own vision of how you think these sneakers would turn out. Uh, we love to see always uh, Johnny, Johnny in the in the audience. I mean, this guy already before any of this was was something. He's been creating um, both IRL custom pairs, which are incredible. If you if you guys don't follow him, please give him a follow and check out his work. And uh, even um, even when uh, Artifact released uh, the the um the uh the, the sneak peeks of the uh the, the forge uh sneakers that are coming out uh johnny did a great uh what the what the artifact sneaker i think that was pretty pretty cool uh, what he did there um so yeah so um what else has been happening so with of1 uh a couple couple uh, I guess it's a couple of months ago at this point there was a uh, community contest uh, from Nike, where uh, basically you were given uh, the chance to um, participate in a contest and post a brief, a design brief on Instagram. And uh, from those, four winners were chosen to uh, work directly with Nike on the uh, Air Force One, or in this case, the, the Air Force One. And, um, and actually, um, even though a lot of us here are uh, live on Twitter, uh, most of this information and, and most of the, their story uh, was captured on Instagram. So highly recommend if you if um, if you're on Instagram, make sure you're following the official dot swoosh account. Um, you know, they're they're giving you as well the, the most up to date information. So, um, yes. The, so there was four winners announced. Um, for the uh, for the OF1 competition, and um, three of the four winners actually uh, were uh, were flown to Beaverton to Nike campus to start working on the uh, on the OF1. Um, and I don't know about you guys if if you saw it, but I even though I didn't win, I'm happy for them. But the amount of FOMO that I got <laughs> watching the uh, That's Who stories. Um, you know, they, they, they got the, the privilege to go through the Nike archives, look at all, a lot of the old models, ah, man, I, I was crying, but I promised they were tears of joy. I, I'm really happy for them. Um, yeah. And then also in the last, yo, yeah. What's up, Jack? Yo, Ryan, yeah. um, I just pinned up top. It's the third one on the far left. It's the picture. I think it's the four winners of the Our Force One contest. Uh, I think Edgar uh, Alvarez Barras. Um, I think he was one of the winners because those are, I think, the four um, pictures oh, of the designs because okay. it says introducing our first Nike dot swoosh. I just found this tweet like, right. I don't know, 20 minutes ago or something. I wanted to bring it no, up yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. on topic. So um, had to share it. Okay. So, so okay. before we continue, um, we, we actually do have at least one of the, the winners listening in the audience. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to blow up his spot now because uh, I, I don't, I don't want to put him on the spot with a bunch of uh, Web3 DJs. Not that we're, you know, mean people, but I think we get, we go kind of crazy when we, we get a lot do of it, information. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> 
do it, do it. <laughs> but I will say though, we regen, <laughs> Ryan. We regen, <laughs> bro. I like that. I like that, Jack. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe near the end. I think I'll I'll share one of the because this isn't like secret information or anything. Um, but w- another thing that I did like about this challenge was that uh, if you do look at the winners, and I'll go I'll go and pin up uh, one of my tweets about this, um, is that you know the backgrounds that they came from. And, you know, I think I think it's encouraging that Nike is reaching out to a lot of people who aren't necessarily Web3 native. Right. And I think that's something that's reflective in everything that Nike has done uh, regarding the the. Um, you know, the release of Dot Swoosh and, and how it's continued to grow. Right. You know, like uh, like I said earlier in the beginning, you know, a lot of the a lot of the um, ways you could get an access code was to and attend an IRL dot swoosh uh, session. Right. And Nike has been very uh, vocal about who they're trying to reach out to, you know, uh, maybe communities that are uh, uh, maybe somewhat underserved by this technology or simply that they don't have the, um, the exposure to it. And I think that's something that, you know, we talk about a lot in Web3 as well. Right. We talk about onboarding the masses. We talk about, you know, like, how does it look to the, you know, to to normies? And this is one thing that's always impressed me with the rollout of uh, Dot Swoosh. You know, I, I think they're taking that into consideration. You know, a lot of times when in Web3, we we kind of live in a bubble, right? We kind of think that NFTs and, and this technology should be uh, used a certain way. Um, and the reality is, uh, I think we're just at the tip of the iceberg in, in use cases. Um, Anyway, I've been rambling a lot, uh, but let's, I think we should just get into it, right? Uh, regarding the uh, OF1 uh, information that was released uh, just like hours ago. And uh, I think it's important for us to kind of go over this. And, you know, we want to make sure that we're all on the same page here and everyone kind of understands it. And uh, I do want to shout out uh, Jasmine, um, who, you know, who's always been very kind of supportive of what we've been doing. And she, you know, she she made a very a couple of very good points about um, uh, safety and security, especially uh, you know such a high profile um, release such as this one. So uh, let me just go over some of that right now. Like l- like off top, um, we let's be clear um, for this drop, you are not required to connect any of your wallets to anything. So make sure that like if there you see anything on Twitter that's saying that you need to connect your wallet to claim your airdrop, that is just 150% false, okay? Um, you are going to get an email notification um, from Nike uh, confirming that. And, you know, when it comes to wallets, I, I, I know that comes up a lot. That came up a couple of times on our previous uh, spaces. Um, right now, it is still a custodial wallet, which is being provided by BitGo. So I think another way to kind of look at this situation is that uh, when, uh, you know, Dennis uh, mentioned earlier, you know, he wanted to see your, uh, you know, like your usernames, your, your Datsuish usernames. Your wallet uh, for now uh, is essentially tied to your uh, Datsuish username, which you used to um, you know, to register for Datsuish. So just keep that in mind. You, you're not going to be, you're not going to see any links to click on from Twitter. You're going to get a, you're going to get an email to confirm if you do, if you got the airdrop. And um, you would be able to anything if you have any uh, concerns, make sure you're just uh, connecting to your um, connecting is a bad word. Logging into your uh, Nike account, your dot swoosh account. See, I, yeah, Dennis is laughing because again, good catch, yeah, good catch. Because <laughs> again, I think I keep thinking in in terms of of, of Web three, right? But uh, Dennis, I think I think we got to turn the dial back, right? I think you're going Web two point five uh, for this one. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, Web two point five. After the last couple of months, I'm at Web two point or just two point three five at this point. <laughs> like, let, <laughs> let's slow down a little bit. But yeah, Web two point five is is definitely the way to go. Uh, there's new. Um, ERC tokens that are coming out that are also going to make these experiences much easier. So I'm also interested to see how 
Nike adapts to those changes that are coming to these new tokens that are going to be created. Um, but yeah, man, I, I'm pumped. Two point five. Let's go. <laughs> Two point just doesn't come. This doesn't roll off the tongue just as as nicely as Web three. Right? It's weird, right? <laughs> just like it, it's like. Well, you know what's interesting about two point five? And I was having a conversation with a buddy of mine. It sounds like a beta, right? Like you're in beta. I said beta because I, I try to sound <laughs> smart. But but beta, it's pretty much. I mean, if you think about it, we are. We're still testing oh, things yeah, out. We're still this iteration flow. So yeah, I kind of like it now. I didn't before though. Yeah. No, and, and uh, so go ahead, Jack. Just, just building on that, it's like dot swoosh. This whole effort, you know, we are still in beta. Technically, this is the first collection that Nike is dropping via this platform, and it's like, you know, there's three hundred and thirty thousand approximately um, custodial wallets that have and dot swoosh IDs that have been generated, and this is in beta, and this is the first drop. So it's like. You know, this will kind of set the standard for, okay, how do we interact with, you know, Polygon via BitConnect or BitGo? What does a custodial wallet look like? And how do we, as the first users of this, you know, tech stack, this this uh, workflow, if you will, you know, how do we interact with it? How is the experience? Like, this is, this is going to be a very informative thing, I think, for, you know, at least the Nike Virtual Studios team and for the ecosystem as a whole. Like, this is exciting it, it, as what it is, and I want to make sure that, that point comes across. It, it's going to test the tech at a massive level because people in Web3, you know, it's, it's, we think that we're ready for millions of users to be onboarded, but the reality is gas prices suck when millions of users get onboarded into our current infrastructure because it's just not set up for it. We all paid, you know, $300 like it was nothing in gas fees to make a token transfer. And it's like, we don't need to do that anymore. There's different solutions available. And when you look at, you know, distributing 100,000 Hour Force Ones, like, you want to make sure that that is scalable and sustainable at scale before you take on anything bigger than that. So like the numbers that I'm seeing, and I don't know if I'm jumping too far ahead, no, guys, no, go ahead, go ahead. but I'm seeing it's about 106,000 collection or sorry, 100. Yeah. 106 K um, collection of our force one boxes. And these boxes will be, I think it's, a reveal between, you know, old school Air Force Ones and then the new generation. Uh, and then each box is about $20 or $19.82, which I'm pretty sure there's some significance to that number. But I do not know my sneaker culture well enough. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the the year that the Air Force One was started. That would just make a ding, lot of ding, sense. Ding, you know, ding. Like two, <laughs> so yeah. Can I get a horn? Just kidding. No, I'm like, I'm crying. <laughs> I was right like, I should know my, that. <laughs> My soundboard is just, oh my God, so much pain. But no, I mean, Jack just kind of, um, you just nailed it. The, the, you know, nailed it on the head. I mean, let let us just, yeah, let's just go back. Let's talk about the numbers, right? So yeah, first off, right now, dot swoosh. If you look at the latest uh, information on like the 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 Dune dashboard, there are, there's been uh, approximately three hundred and thirty thousand mints. Okay, so so when you're registering for that swoosh, that is you are minting you are minting an NFT. I think that's something that kind of is not appreciated enough, right? When we talk about, you know, when you talk about massive onboarding, and we are still in beta. That's you know that is true. But three hundred thirty, a uh, hundred thousand have been have been have been or it started already. And guys, I know a lot of you have. Uh, this is just an aside, but. A lot of you have been in my DMs and, and asking me, how do I get a code? When are the next uh, set of codes coming out? We're going to touch about on that a little bit later uh, when we get to the, near the end. But Dennis, go ahead. No, I want to tell people to keep messaging you in the DMs and asking for more codes. I'm sure he has a few in the back part. <laughs> no, don't do that. That's horrible. What, what I was going to add to the um, 330K number of dot swoosh members, um, there's also been over 12 dot swoosh events in different cities. So this mixture of of IRL and um, and the digital world is super interesting. And yeah, again, they're making moves. Things are moving. And how ironic that today is the last day to do your taxes, 
and we get this bomb news come through. <laughs> I think it's perfect timing. Uh, Dennis, is that a reminder for yourself to do your taxes? Yes. <laughs> Word. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. So uh, let, let's uh, let's just kind of get through these numbers, and then we'll start bringing up some people to talk about this. But yeah. So, um, like Jack said, um, so there's there was three hundred thirty. Hundred thousand. Oh my God! I can't even speak today. I, something. I'm just rugging myself. Um, and about a hundred and six thousand will get the airdrop uh, tomorrow. So the airdrop is happening tomorrow, April 18th. And um, you will again, like I said, you are going to get an email confirmation that will notify you if you won. Okay, that's the only way you're going to get it. You're not going to get any DMs. You're not going to get any uh, Twitter blasts. Please, again, for I have to, I have to stress this because literally the other day I saw someone lose two Azuki to a link from Instagram, and I just don't want that to happen to any of you. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just the point that I think uh, I'm going to keep talking about until, uh, you know, I, I'm blue in the face. Well, I'm technically a robot right now. So, um, yes, I guess gray in the face. Dennis, what's up? No, those are facts. And also, like, double check the email as well, just in case. Right. So you're looking for official at swoosh dot Nike. Double check that email. I know everyone's going to be super excited. So uh, slow down <laughs> just just a little bit. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, you know, those scammers are, are always ready. So uh, please be safe. Yeah, it's a good point. Slow down. This isn't like a first come, first serves type of situation with this airdrop, right? So the airdrop happens tomorrow, at April 18. Um, what does that airdrop do? So the airdrop is a poster, right? It's an OF1 poster. That poster will give you first access to these boxes, right? The, the first access will happen on May 8th followed by general access on May 10. And like Jack is saying, the price, um, which is historically significant in terms of the Air Force One, is going to be $19.82, payable by credit card. Again, this should be another hint that you, need, you don't need to connect your wallet because this is pay, payable by credit card, not crypto. So just uh, keep that in mind. Um, and what are you going to get in these boxes, right? So, so we all know it's going hey, to. Ryan. Yeah, Jack, what's up? Can can we tell the people how they get selected to get these boxes, or do you want to tell them that after we tell them what's in the boxes? Oh, no, let's let's go to that first because I think I think they're both uh, good points, and then and then we'll we'll start bringing some people up. And also, really quickly, mm -hmm. sorry to cut you off, but there was a piece in the article that mentioned these um, OF1 posters were a reimagination of heritage ads. And not to be corny, but I can't wait to see that. Dude, the art on the poster, it's going to be exciting. It's like, it sets the stage for, for the entire vibe of what's coming next. I mean, this is, this is cool. These posters are cool. And like, so they're going to have, I'm just reading. So what I'm reading off of is sneakernews.com they have a an article on it and so on april 18th dot swoosh will airdrop 106,453 free virtual posters to dot swoosh members at random and that that's sentence one next it says and this is why i'm pretty excited those who participated in the hashtag our force one challenge and or registered at a dot swoosh session tour stop, as well as Nike, DEI, and SC plus I partners, I don't know that one, um, will be included in this airdrop. So I think the way that I'm reading it anyway, it says to me, if you participated in the Our Force One community challenge, which was 100% open and free for anyone to participate in, this reads to me like the people who participated in the Our Force One Challenge will get a poster airdrop tomorrow. So if you participated in that, you should be pretty excited right now because we are about to enter into the first Genesis drop that is on the Dot Swoosh platform from Nike Virtual Studios. Like, like how rewarding is that for active participants in a space who are this early and care this much 
to to take part in like there's a lot of really great creators that entered and the the four designs that we saw that came out of that they're all fire but like there was a lot more entrance and you know just to have people be included in this this early like yo that's incentivizing participation in an organic community forward way okay yeah Yeah, i I love that I, i love that so much and a wise man once said let's go Oh, appreciate, appreciate the, the drop. No, and look, I, okay, guys, I'm not saying that we have the alpha, but if you do remember, right before the, the, the Your Force One challenge, you know, we were talking about how, how people can participate, right? Oh, but I'm not an artist. I'm not, you know, I'm not creative. But really, the idea was one, like Jack said, was to get you just to participate. And maybe, maybe just make you think in a different and creative way. And I specifically remember, and guys, I have the receipts because these are all recorded. I said, you need to participate because even if you don't win, the fact that they're asking you for your dot swoosh name, the, the fact that they're asking you to interact on Instagram with the hashtags, they're paying attention. Uh, trust me, I think that's something that I, again, we want to kind of like emphasize here and like Jack talks about, this is still technically in beta, right? But we've had, I think what really encourages me and it's why I continue to participate in these spaces is that uh, people who officially represent Nike have 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 said they, they listen, they're wanting to listen to the community. They have Web3 natives on their team, on the virtual studio team. I mean, they have been actively working with Artifact to make sure that, you know, they have someone to kind of help guide them throughout this process. Nike isn't just here to just give you a JPEG of a shoe and, and get your $20. No, if you've been following Dotswoosh this entire time, and I'm going to use that our favorite Web3 word, building, they've been building something, but they, and like Jack said too, right? They, they want people to participate. So you if you participated in that challenge, you're getting an airdrop. Uh, DEI, uh, just to clarify, Jack, um, I believe it's, uh, and, and I don't want to misspeak, but it's something along the lines of diversity, equality, slash equity, and inclusiveness. That is, that is paramount to what Nike is doing here. If you've listened to any of the talks on even the sneakers app, it's something that they've been continuing to emphasize. So yeah, all that to say, we're really excited. This is literally like, this is the beginning of something incredible. I mean, like look at the, I highly recommend everyone, make sure you're following the dot, official dot swoosh account on Instagram, here on Twitter. Um, Dennis and Jack have been um, pinning uh, t- uh, tweets with very important information. Um, there's so much more to come. What's up, Dennis? Yeah, I also have a poll up at the top pinned uh, about the boxes. Which box are you going for? And final, Ryan, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit more about the about the two different boxes. Yeah. So, um, so essentially, uh, there's there's going to be two boxes, right? The classic remix or the new wave, right? And uh, if you noticed in the in the lead up to the to OF one, especially on sneakers on the sneakers app, again that's something I think uh, maybe uh, maybe some of you who are participating in Das Whoosh don't have yet. I highly recommend you have the sneakers app because um, they do share a lot of uh, Das Whoosh information on there as well. Um, but the classic remix box contains an AF one that's inspired by collections from 1982. To 2006, whereas the new wave box uh, is going to feature brand new uh, next generation AF ones. Those are from like 2007 and up. And also because we did mention them before, uh, across those boxes you are going to find the co-created uh, AF uh, OF ones from the winners of the challenge. So yeah, it's. Um, it's uh, it, it's it's something to look forward to. Personally, I don't know. I, I'm, I think I gotta go with the classic. I think I gotta go with the classic. It's you know, even though we're 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 in Web three, this is something brand new. 
I think I think I want to try something, uh, get something classic because I was I was voting on those sneak on the sneakers app as well. No shade, but some people have some wild, crazy takes and <laughs> on the voting, how the voting ended. But that's that's another that's I know. <laughs> I know Jay Millie has some has some thoughts about that. Um, yeah. So I'm one thing. One more thing before we before we get to Jay um, and get some speakers. One thing that was uh, shared, I believe it was the sneakers, sneaker news article was that out of 106,000, right, there's going to be so many different variations based off a lot of the different, like the, the linens and all these other collabs, Halloweens. But the white on white Air Force Ones, the ones that you can go to Foot Locker and get right now, that's going to be the rarest one. <laughs> so <laughs> take that with what, you know, that's, that's crazy to me. I mean, it makes sense in a lot of ways. What's up, Dennis? That's crazy, man. And now I think about it. But just uh, speaking about articles, uh, Jasmine tweeted an article from The Business of Fashion. The title of the article is called Nike has a plan to take digital goods mainstream. Just don't call them NFTs. I like that last line there. Just don't call them NFTs, which man, we got to rebrand <laughs> NFTs ASAP. But, yeah. uh, but go check out the article. A lot of good details, um, some of the stuff we talked about. But um, business of fashion in general has been super bullish on um, anything fashion and Web3. So good article. It's pinned to the top. It's uh, one swipe over of the poll. So check that out. Yeah, thanks for calling that out. All right. Let, let's get to some of these speakers. Uh, you guys have been so patient. Thank you so much for joining us. And anyone else, if you want to come up to speak, share your thoughts, uh, please do so. We'd love to hear from all of you. Um, you know, and your viewpoints, like how you feel about this, you know, what you think is in store and for the future. But Dre Milley, what's up? How are you? Good afternoon. 1,600 a month. GM, GM, GM. What's good, friends? Um, honestly, I don't I don't know much about this topic at all. So I just jumped on stage to try to engage my farm. So I'm kind of embarrassed. That you I appreciate the me. honesty. Dre, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, nah, you know I had to come up and uh, and speak about this because I'm just as excited as you guys are for sure. But um, interesting points made here, a lot of information. I appreciate this, man, because a lot of people are missing out on this. And it's so wild because I know, right, like, Ryan, I know you engulfed into the sneaker culture, you know what I mean, and Dennis as well, right? But it's a, it's a different situation here because a lot of people who are in Web3 aren't. So they're missing out on, on a lot of uh, the foundational situations that built all of this up. Like even like you just said, a lot of people don't even have the sneakers app. Mm -hmm. Right. So they're missing out on a lot of that information as well. But no harp against them. Right. I just I appreciate you guys doing this. So they those people who aren't fully submerged in this world can gather that information from the ground up. So thank you for that, first and foremost. But yeah, 1982 is the year that the sneakers dropped. That's what the the whole point of the price point is for. Um, I got some alpha from a guy that I spoke to who shall remain nameless, but he said the people who are 500,000 and under were the people who are most likely to get the airdrop. And now when I got this information, it was quite some time ago. Uh, so I don't know how, how true that was or if, even if he was talking out the side of his neck, but you can take that with a grain of salt as well. And there, um, another thing, or some more information that I received was that, you know, when you went to these IRL events um, around the nation that they had, they gave out those cards where you could actually sign up for, to receive your dot swoosh account. And I think those are the priority that they will give to people who receive these airdrops. Because if you think about it, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. The people who actually made the time. Yeah to go out and, and learn about these things, to be there. They want them to be some of the first people to receive some of this, uh, these airdrops that they're giving out. So that's something else that they, they want to prioritize as far as I know. Um, and I think that's it. That's the only point that I wanted to come up here and speak about, to be honest. No, I think so. Just to, just to close the loop on the one part, Dre and Millie, I, I saw um, someone in the audience uh, with a lot of thumbs down to the the 500k IDs and below having a better chance. So I think that whoever said that was talking out of their neck. Uh, just to just to throw that out there, I, I don't think that's legit. Oh yeah, well who knows? We'll see. 
We'll see. Is this Bobito or like Bobito, Bobito, Air Force One Bobito? Or is this a different Bobito? Nah, That's what nah. I was wondering. <laughs> nah, this is different Bobito. This is, oh, it, but, I was going to be like, wait a minute. To, <laughs> Bro, to be I'm honest to with you, up here, bro. you be, to be honest, that's where I got my name from, though, <laughs> because I'm a Puerto Rican Dominican kid from from New York Let's City who played basketball and, and was a sneakerhead and into hip hop growing up. And Bobito and Stretch Armstrong, if you know the history, you know the history. Of course, um, of course. So yeah, so so a lot of my friends will, will, will have jokes because my you know my family would call me Bobby, so they just kind of put me in that category and nicknamed me, named me after him because I kind of was all into the same things. But um but no, I appreciate you guys taking me up here. I appreciate you um holding the space and answering questions and really providing a, a place for us to to understand and get all the alpha and ask all the questions we need regarding this because I think we're all excited about what's to come here. But I had two questions for you guys you may or may not know and it, it kinda trickles off what Dre Millie was just asking and talking about. Um you guys have mentioned that the priority access of whoever gets this airdrop tomorrow would more than likely go to the people who went to the in route life events, which I agree 100%. They deserve it first and foremost. And then secondly, those that participated in in the in the in the vote that was going on in sneakers, right? If I'm, if oh, okay, I'm yeah, Bobby. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Yeah, go slightly ahead, Jack. different. Mm -hmm. Slightly different. So it's it's for those who participated in the Our Force One challenge which to participate in that, you had to have a .swoosh ID. You had to register on swoosh.nike or nike.swoosh, I can't remember. Um, and then you had to get like a confirmation that said, hey, you're you're in it. And then you had to submit an, like a link to your Instagram post that followed their guidelines. So it was a very specific community challenge that anybody could enter in. Um, and I think it's the people that participated in that specific Instagram challenge that are going to be included in the airdrop tomorrow. I do not believe that voting on the sneakers app or voting on Instagram uh, would be a way to, to, you know, be included in the airdrop for sure. Uh, because like just thinking through that, there's no place or way for Nike to actually figure out what dot swoosh was doing the voting on those platforms currently. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, no, I was a bit confused because for me, regrettably, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that one right because I was a bit like feeling out this entry stages, and I felt like I wasn't creative enough to, at the time to participate in that. But I do know that they, you know, they gauge engage engagement, how how you how active you are on the sneakers app and whatnot. So I was making sure to to participate in the votes and stuff, but I definitely didn't engage in that, unfortunately. And then I missed the event that happened in real life here. I'm happy some of my, some of my people down there were able to attend. Um, so I'm a little, uh, a little disappointed that I may, I don't qualify under that, but I'm still feeling optimistic because I got my das whoosh early, early on. Um, my last question for you guys here is what do you, what do you, and this is probably coming speculation. What do you guys think are going to happen with those posters? You think we're going to have to burn those posters to, redeem it for one of the boxes that we choose? Or do you think that we'll be able to keep the poster, have that as, as an absolute separate NFT, and then just kind of whitelist us for that, for to choose our box when the time comes? Appreciate you guys again. Thank you. No, appreciate you coming up and sharing your thoughts. Um, so uh, just wanted to kind of circle back first uh, on, on what Jack was talking about regarding the, um, regarding the entries. Um, just, just a heads up, if you're, I just pinned up a, a, a one of my earlier tweets. Um, I believe um, sometime this week there, they are going to post a, a new blog entry that will go into more detail about how they selected um, the, the, air, the people for the airdrop because they're trying to be as transparent as possible about how that, that was. Uh, there is certainly, a, um, certainly a, an aspect of ran randomization, again, because they're, they're trying to make it as, uh, as equal as possible. Again, I don't think, um, unfortunately, there's, there's 100... 6,000 versus 300,000, there are going to be people who are uh, probably uh, not going to be happy. I mean, that's me every time I open up the sneakers app anyway, every week, but that's another story for another time. Um, <laughs> okay. Only kidding, Nike. No, nobody kidding, has Nike. time for your for your troubles, <laughs> Final Ryan. Let's go. Um, but yeah, um, sorry, but uh, to, your, to your second point, uh, I believe um, there is no, there is no burning mechanism for this i think i think at this point um the having the airdrop simply is like you said um for you know 
it's it's uh, it's uh, uh, I guess a whitelist slash allow list access or first access is what they're calling it to the initial sale, which is going to be happening on May 8th. Right. And I believe, um, you know, uh, the the remaining supply will be available uh, to the general uh, dot swish user um, two days later on the on the 10th. Dennis, what's up? No, and right on time, uh, Jasmine just tweeted some key dates. I just pinned it to the top. So tomorrow, April 18th, the OF1 poster airdrop, of course. May 8th is the first access. So there's two access, right? And then May 10th, as you said, two days later, later uh, the general access. So uh, just bookmark that if you are a Twitter Blue member, which is the best feature on Twitter Blue because everything else is trash. Uh, bookmark it, create like a dot swoosh bookmark folder or whatever you need to do. But those are some key dates and, and also the price and everything is there. Yeah, thanks for calling that out, Dennis. Okay, uh, let's go. Yo, we got Superman. Superman on stage. Thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate your patience. You had your hand raised. What's up, man? How are you? What's up, boys? I hope all is blessed. Um, yeah, I just had a couple uh, questions because I'm loving this uh, this idea that Nike's doing. Um, you know, I'm loving to be a part of it. So let's get it. But um, yeah, my first question is, is I'm just a little confused on... So can you only buy one box or can you buy more? Because you know me, I'm a DJ and I'll buy a hundred. <laughs> Superman. <laughs> Not going to lie. That was the first thing I thought to you. Like, how many can I buy? So I'm going to buy all of them. 20 bucks? Sign me up for uh, <laughs> Anyway, go, sorry, sorry, Jack. Go ahead. Oh, no, you're good. I'm pretty sure it's one box to one poster. Um, we don't know yet if there will be the ability to trade them or not. But, you know, I mean, there will be people probably wanting to do that. And I know it's a pretty big thing in classic sneaker culture. So I don't know why Dot Swoosh wouldn't go that direction. Uh, just to expand a little bit on the question. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, sorry. I just wanted to kind of add on to that. Um, so at the moment right like at at the time of this release um the ability to kind of like i guess the secondary market uh those details have not been kind of um released yet but it has been something that they've mentioned from the beginning that's part of their roadmap again i would refer to the um dot swoosh blog um but the there is going to be a marketplace uh where you will be able to kind of um you know buy and uh, hopefully sell these these assets between other dot swoosh users. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys off top, like once that's available, I I already, the one thing I really want, and I don't know how this is going to play out. I'm just thinking way too far ahead. Is I definitely want to collect at least one of each of the winners' entries because those are going to be scattered throughout. Once we figure out those, I got to have those. And then when we see the rest of them, uh, oh man. I'm getting way ahead of myself. <laughs> I don't want to spend money that I don't even have on, on things that don't exist. Money loaded. <laughs> <For real. laughs> <laughs> Ryan using that tax money refund. Yeah, you already Let's know. Go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Th th thanks for that. Thanks for the. Thanks for your question, Superman. Appreciate it. Uh, Superman Don. My bad. I forgot the. There's, there's Don at the end of that. Yeah, you got to put the yeah, Don yeah, in of there. Of course, the Don. <laughs> the Don. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but thanks again. Thanks. Appreciate that as well. So, yeah, I just had a couple more mm -hmm. questions just from, you know, listening to this space. Um, now, um, is there any plan? Now, obviously, you guys, you know, like you guys said, you're not really from Nike itself. But is there any plans on, you know, really bringing us all together, say maybe a Discord? Like, where can I talk to my fellow Swoosh members other than this, you know, Twitter or, you know, Instagram? If Yo, because like someone a, had I'm in a big IP uh, from DC, you know, they have a, they have a discord of like 20,000 people, you know, I'm in there every day. So, Superman. you know, yes, I've built oh, a community discord with other people. DM dude, I'll get you in it. We're just trying to figure out the channels. And honestly, we haven't put, it out publicly i think i mentioned it on community space three 
Um, still working through kind of the scale up of that, but absolutely that goes for anybody listening back to the recording or listening to this here today. You can just DM me, I guess, and I'll send you the invite code that will go out publicly once we have it built out a little bit more. But uh, just kind of working on that kind of passively in the background and with all of the news that just hit today, there's about to be a flood in the digital collectible area. And I think having a way for everyone to organize is, you know, Discord is the best current option. And I feel that we're ready um, to, to add some channels, to get some people in it, to, you know, start using it a little bit more. So absolutely, Superman, Don, we got you. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I would love to join that. I would also love to help because, like I said, you know, the DC, uh, they're doing their own thing. Obviously, another big IP. So I've been in there for, since the jump. So I could definitely, you know, help out where it's needed. Let's get it. Appreciate that. And yes, I will take you up on that. Dennis, what's up? Yo, I was going to say tomorrow's a big day. We may need like an airdrop party or something or a recap at night at some point. Final Ryan, no pressure, but Ooh. we got to get it going. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh man, okay, you're putting me on the spot, but let's let's uh, let's see what we can do. I think I think we can work something out. Dre Dre Millie, what's up, man? Yo, my bad. Um, what was I gonna say? You guys caught me off guard. David Chin, I see him down there in the audience. I know he's one of the guys who won for the creators. Uh, competition that they had set up and please forgive me i know this isn't my space and a lot of people aren't big on inviting people up to have them speak but i am so if the homie want to jump up here and talk that would be dope you know what i mean just to get some information out there to the community oh yeah and to the uh <laughs> sure. the homegirl jasmine down there too i see her down there too uh, both of y'all are quiet and creeping they were both up and you know just suggesting you know because i know we would love <laughs> i invited speak. david I just invited David. That'd be awesome to come up. Dre, I have a question for you. What's for up? for the sneaker community homies that you have, how do you how do you pitch this to them uh to build excitement or do you wait till like after the drop? <laughs> but Honestly, uh, but uh, um how do you do it? I've been ever since Swoosh that Nike came out, uh, I've been pushing this information to them because I know they're not the type of people to jump on Twitter and or discord and even if they do they're they're not degens quote unquote so they don't necessarily know how the information flows here so it's more of um something that can be i guess kind of intimidating for them so they stay away from it but it's a lot of uh guys that i speak to on facebook still because i have a couple of facebook sneaker groups that i've been operating for over a decade now and i just funnel the information to them so once whoosh that came i even sent them the sign up for it so they can jump in and get it. Um, a lot of people picked it up and then they would DM me and be like, all right, now what next? And I'm like, no, I don't know what next. We chilling, we waiting to see. So as the information comes out, I send it to them and I funnel it to them. Um, and we just go and build from there. So again, even with the information that came out today, I just regurgitated it back to them. So actual apps means are caught up in it as well because a lot of this stuff is, is highly intimidating when it comes to web three so but they do want to be a part of it right and i think that's the one thing that swoosh nike is doing right here we're not having an official discord not having like any of the web three centric informational points coming through they're really keeping it surface level for, so people can feel like they are a part of this movement as well and i think that's kudos to them because it's going to garner a lot more attention and a lot more comfort for people to uh actually take part of the historic release Yo, can I just say a uh, shout out to my uh, Facebook account, which uh, just got hacked this weekend that I don't even use anymore. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, yo, Johnny, what's up, man? Thanks for joining us on stage. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, just enjoying the conversation. Uh, don't have a whole lot to add. But yeah, I mean, what you were saying about you know having a marketplace, I think this is what I've been trying to tell people as far as I think when people finally the buy sell trade and auction all of these digital goods with the physical attached to it right i think as the people here in web3 as we've been collecting all these digital things and we're super excited to forge 
physical aspects with them, we don't really still have an official marketplace to be able to transition both assets at the same time to people. Um, so once that does come out, I think that's where you're going to see the real life value and um, sneakerheads and all these other people kind of like hop on and, and start actually collecting these things. Because then the whole game changes as far as how we actually get sneaker releases, collect sneakers, trade sneakers, uh, the entire industry is going to change. I agree. 150 percent i think it's it's like uh what we were talking about just before with dre right i think um you know it, it's weird right and i'm gonna sound corny but you know like we're in a bear market right and i think what i've said to some other people is if you're still here and you're still participating you, you know for lack of a better term you are an ambassador for this space right like you still believe in it for whatever reason you know sure if you're in it for monetary gain that's acceptable. Like, you know, who am I to judge you for, for why we, you know, want to embrace this technology, this space, right? Um, but, you know, and, you know, he talked about it earlier as well. Like a lot of Web3 natives weren't necessarily um, sneakerheads, but there is a lot of crossover, right? And, and I love, I got to say, I, I love the dis discussion that has kind of uh, came up from this, especially this upcoming artifact forging event, right? Trying to kind of... Um, explain to web3 natives like why these are significant why is it significant that artifact is working with nike and takashi murakami to produce his first shoe like what like his first nike that's crazy um you know we could go on and on about you know the possibilities and i think ultimately that's what uh that's what excites me the most about swoosh it's the possibilities and this isn't just vaporware at this point the, what nike has been kind of sharing with us and, and and been teasing you know like like johnny has been saying with the marketplace uh they just announced too the 3d files are going to be available y'all like you're going to be able to wear your your nikes in in a lot of places and the you know i don't want to call it the metaverse but there's a lot coming Okay, guys, we're, we're getting really close to, to the hour, so we're going to start wrapping things up. Let, let's get to these hands. Um, I'm getting too hyped because Jack got me hyped before this one, too. <laughs> no, no, we're doing a 24-hour <laughs> spaces to celebrate until the first airdrop comes out. Yo, that would be dope, not going to lie. My, my calendar is screaming at me already. Please, Dennis, don't, don't, don't do this to me. Uh, let's go to Valvito first. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I just wanted to piggyback what Dre Millie and Johnny were saying, too. You know, like they're doing this the right way. They're having in real life events to teach people to onboard them the correct way. And, and in a way where it's not threatening, like trying to pay gas or deal with, you know, scams or MetaMask, so on and so forth. They're doing it a way where they're trying to teach us in person, the, the, the average consumer, the person who goes into a sneaker store and just wants to buy a shoe for the love of the shoe. You know, and they're trying to onboard them correctly, which is which is the right way to do it. And um, just to give you guys just a little bit of feedback here, because I'm I'm well, well immersed in the sneaker community here in New York City and my separate multiple sneaker groups that I'm part of out here are all starting to talk about this now. Now they're all hitting me up talking about, hey, hey, Bobby, how can I get how can I get my Dasuush account? What's what, what's this about? Am I going to get, you know, to that to choose in the future? Am I going to be able to get? you know, one of ones of the shoes that I'm, that I'm actually getting in my NFTs, like, how do I become part of this, right? So I'm, this sneaker community itself that, that knows nothing about Web3 are all starting to get wind of this because they see an opportunity here and they want to learn more and more about what's going on. And I'm even seeing people, huge people like LA, who's a big sneaker Twitter guy, who's, who's encouraging people to go run, get your Das Wooshes accounts. And he's been doing this for a, a few weeks already. So it's this is just you know, just growing deeper and deeper and deeper into the sneaker community. And they're just, it's just a matter of time before everyone's going to want to know what's happening here and how can they be part of it. And we're just super early and I'm just blessed to be here. And I want to thank you guys for providing this opportunity and this platform for us. That's all. No, man. Th thank you so much. We really appreciate the enthusiasm. And again, it's like you said, we're in this space. We kind of act as ambassadors to, to share with the general sneaker community that, that maybe, like you said, have become intimidated uh, by Web3 and and maybe don't see how they can participate, right? So, yeah, I mean, definitely, I think that that's something we believe in. That's why we do these spaces, 
I, I, you know what I mean? I think it's because we actually believe in it. We believe that there's a lot of potential here. We want to make sure that, you know, we we get the word out and, and that, you know, this isn't just like a flash in the pan. This is something long term. This is the whole point of blockchain, right? It's it's immutable. It's here on the blockchain. It's going to it's going to last more than my uh, my dusty Air Force Ones that I need to replace because I haven't gone to Foot Locker yet. <laughs> Um, okay, Let, let's go to Hannibal. What's up, man? How are you? Hey, hey, how's it going? Fantastic. How are you? Yeah, good, good. I'm, I'm going to be quick because I can see, I can see Luchin. Luch has got his hand up, so I um, definitely want to hear from the team directly. But I had two things to say. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the first one, it's kind of linked to um, people talking about buying and selling, and I did read in, in one of the press releases that buying and selling is not going to be available from the start, which I think is great, actually. Um, but there are going to be more details coming in the summer. And I think that's just kind of to de-incentivize flipping, you know, big financial markups mm-hmm. and the rest of it, which I think is a great move, great move from the team. Um, but the second bit that I think is just super exciting is um, <clears throat> the bit that talks about the gaming. Like, I'm, I guess I kind of come at this from a more of a sneakhead background as well, right? A lot of friends who are deep sneakheads don't care about Web3 NFTs. And... I'm not convinced the adoption curve is really going to be as quick as we might think with those guys and girls. Um, but the gaming stuff is interesting. Like, I don't know if any of you saw around the time of the World Cup, Nike did the um, partnership with Rocky. Yes. The yep. Nike FC mm-hmm. Cup. And, and I think it's definitely worth pinning that tweet up of the trailer for that because when you see the bit in the press release where they talk about potential gaming partnerships, um, and we know that this is virtual, it's not forged not to start with, I just think they, they must have some super stuff, um, super cool stuff cooking in terms of gaming, which I think is going to bring in a whole new younger generation of sneakerheads, not necessarily just focusing on kind of the OGs that, 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 you know, Dre spoke about. And we all know that kind of um, a bit more set in their ways, right. In terms of collecting. So I think that's really exciting and looking forward to seeing what the team does there. But anyway, I can see Lucha's got his hand up. So definitely want to hear from the team. Yeah. Yo, Dennis, please hit some air horns for Luch if we can. Oh God. <laughs> I also give you the party flavor. All right, I'll take that. There you go. Uh, I, I, I'm going to be brief because uh, it took me a while to work up the courage even to raise my hand here. But um, I just wanted to just say thank you all to everyone here for just like sharing your passion and just like riding along with us. It's been really reassuring and just like kind of validating to just see all of your enthusiasm and just excitement and like some of the the accurate inaccurate conspiracy theories like we we just we, we love just seeing how uh appreciative and just engaged this community is and it's like it's this has been a big day for us i'm not gonna lie it's been something we've been working on for a long time just to kind of we've been very uh cagey kind of secretive with stuff to up until this point um and it feels great to be able to put some of this information out there and just just wanted to let everyone know that on behalf of myself and got a few other members from mvs in the building here from dot swoosh team we just want to say um, thank you, guys. We're really excited for what's coming. I think Air Force One is going to be something awesome. We're really excited about uh, Artifacts Air Force One collection and what they're doing, like truly like shifting the culture miles ahead. Um, and yeah, just we're going to go into a lot more this Friday on Sneakers Live, so I'm not trying to uh, leave you with no information, but I think we're over the next couple of days we'll be able to reveal a lot more. Excited for Airdrop tomorrow. Good luck. I know it's not a guaranteed access, but still better odds than you get on sneakers. So, um, again, just on behalf of the team, we just want to say thank you. Uh, and, yeah, we'll hopefully try and pop into more of these as you host them. But thank you guys for hosting this and for creating a space for the community to, to come together and just meet and talk and get to know one another. So, uh, yeah, that's yep. all I got. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass the mic to whoever else wants to take over. Ryan, this is your spot. You can run with it. But, yeah, thank you guys so much. No, thank man, thank you so much for those kind words. Um, really appreciate it. And yeah, I, I think I think you hit it on uh, like just spot on. We just want a place for people to kind of come together, share what they know. If they don't, you know, if, if they want to learn more, you know, we want to be a resource. We want to get, you know, again, we're just trying to share as much as we can. And you did fantastic. If it was your first time on a Twitter space, you did fantastic. You were lovely. We'd love to have you back. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. I mean, and I think he just dropped some alpha. Did Luchas drop some alpha on us about this coming? He he dropped some alpha. Oh. Spoke like a true G, and it just bounced. Yeah, I know. Then he dipped. 
that that's what you're supposed to. That's, I think that's the real. That's the play. We you know, we can't we can't we can't run our own spaces. We gotta go on around. You know, we gotta go on space. Drop the alpha and just bounce. You know, get a couple of one hundreds. <laughs> we're good to go. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Yo, but really quickly, yeah. since the team is listening and maybe they'll listen um, to the recording as well, we just got to shout out the details of of Delight, the 1982, the the shout outs to the old advertisements and all that stuff. Like those little small details, the the sneak peeks of the videos, the animations, those little details go unnoticed. But in the back of our minds and our hearts, in some cases, depending on how deep you've been in this. Uh, it just hits hard, right? And that's like the definition of delight versus like confetti that you see at a checkout <laughs> flow <laughs> of a product. Like those little pieces, that's truly like what delight is in a product. So I appreciate them doing that kind of stuff because that that hits home. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And um, then, uh, I mean, the fact that it's like a box, like they know that the unboxing experience is part of the experience, right? Like I think that's so underappreciated by some people. Yeah, maybe... To people who are kind of like, okay, you're getting the, you're getting the, you know, the, the airdrop and then you get a box and then you can kind of, you know, reveal. And I, I mean, it's a mechanic that we are familiar with uh, in Web3, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool that you get to unbox a digital Air Force One. Uh, let's go to Dre and then we'll, we'll close it up with Jack because <laughs> we've been going, we've, we've been so hyped we, we went over the time. But Dre, what's up, man? I'm a bad, I'm a, I'm actually out here shopping with my wife, but, uh, I was jumping up to say that I plan on doing a sneaker soapbox tomorrow to to, uh, to coincide with the release that they was doing. I didn't know if they was going to do their official space, but y'all know that I'm always coming through with as much information as I can with the sneakers in any form or facet. So um, if anybody wants to jump up and do that tomorrow, I'll have it up going as the airdrop come out. And um, another point I want to make when Moose was up here was say, Tell him to answer his DMs, bro. I sent him a DM three months ago. I've been sitting here crying, crying my eyes out because my homie ain't put saying, no. but Lucia, yeah, answer your DMs, bro. If you could, I appreciate it. On blast. Um, <laughs> I got I gotta do it, man. Every every you know, shooters gotta shoot. That's just what I'm on. But no, I do appreciate y'all, man. Y'all forever coming through with the knowledge and you know how it is bringing the community together, man. It's not an easy task, but you guys do it so effortlessly. So I thank you for this and your time. I appreciate those kind words, Trey. Um Darren. Appreciate you, Dre. I, I need some new pair of socks. If you see some fly socks, <laughs> just go ahead and cop them for me. I got, I got all the fly socks. Don't do that. You'll have a, a crazy <laughs> oh, package coming through. Yo, Baron, what's up, man? How are you? Yo, yo. I'm uh, just real quick. To, I, I don't know how long you guys have been doing this space, but I'm just so stoked for what I saw today. Clean, clear, concise. Um, I've got a ton of friends that were able to get their dot swoosh passes who don't uh, participate in Web3 at all, but got on the registration because I was in their ear about it. And, you know, I think that you know, what sneaker heads are, are used to the grind there. That's part of the game. And so I think as this thing gets rolled out and as uh, dot swoosh holds our hand, you as the community holds our hand with spaces like this, uh they're going to catch on because they're going to get it, it's just going to be part of their the back of their brain they're already built this way i guess is what i'm trying to say and um what dot swish is doing is i think they know that in their back of their head it's like lead lead the horse to water and then they're going to fall in love just like they have with the sneakers because that's all we're doing we're just reintroducing culture in a different way thanks to everybody who's up here i just i'm stoked I love how you put that, Baron. Just introducing culture in a different way, and absolutely, it's just man, it's all about perspective. It's all about viewpoint, and how you you know get that get that I, those ideas, those shared values across in different ways. So fantastic, um, man. Uh, unfortunately, uh, David, shout out to you, man. Sorry, I think we're having Twitter. Twitter is rugging everyone today uh, in in usual fashion uh we'll we'll try to get you up if not today that definitely at the next one jack what's up man any closing thoughts dude i just so much right like that's pretty cool that luch jumped up david just tried i mean it's just a vibe and a half because like i know dre millie and baron they've been on sneaker game for as long as i've known them and it's like like hannibal you dropped a piece about the the video games and like you know that's kind of what brought me in personally and it's like this is culture 
assembling organically and, you know, really being supported and empowered by Nike and the Dot Swoosh team. Everything Dot Swoosh has done has been community forward and extremely well done to date. And it's like, you know, Luch's his thing is Luch got you. And it's like studio we this ecosystem we this community can back nike virtual studios with everything they're doing and we have the power to absolutely show a united front and support back to the team because like getting access to the our force one collection at a historic you know date they they priced this at 19 dollars 82 that is so forward that's not anything negative about that that is so kind and an entry point that's uh, like you know like (laughs) you can get a 20 and you can buy this you can buy digital our force ones in 2023 with a 20 dollar bill which is pretty epic so i wanted to read off the last two paragraphs of the sneakernews.com article because these are exciting and and this is like a great place to close it out on because uh, y'all can figure it y'all can do what you will with this info but okay i'm going to start the benefits of owning an hour force one or its utility is quite rich owners can unlock access to physical and virtual releases as well as brand experiences and the virtual shoes can also be worn in partnering video games more on our force one utility will be revealed later this summer. Next paragraph. Our Force One can also open doors to future collections for other classic models with a rich history as the Air Force One, our Max One, our Jordan One. The possibilities are really endless as collector culture is ready to be embraced by web three think about where this ends y'all it doesn't this is the co-creation of the future of the nike virtual studios with the community that's here today supporting this first drop i would say tell your friends that like video games tell your friends that like sneakers because fashion the entire industry is shifting and we are all a part of it and that's why We're so damn excited to be here this early. Everyone, like, you're not late. It's all starting. Jack, don't don't throw your phone against the wall. I I know you're hype. I know you got excited. You just got to put a new screen protector. Don't want you to ruin it. No, Ryan, but Ryan, dude. I'm literally I'm literally <laughs> sitting in my office wearing sunglasses because the future's so bright, bro. And on the last seventy minutes because there's just too much. Hell yeah, let's go, Dennis. <laughs> what's up, man? Jack is ready to. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> Jack. I want you to introduce me in my Zoom meetings, bro. <laughs> Coming up next, it's your boy, De- <laughs> <laughs> wearing, oh, wearing shades. But I, no, I was going to say really quickly, that part of that about utility and experiences is really super dope because I was reading um, from, from the blog itself where it said, meet athletes and designers. So like, if you're a creative and you want to get some, some tips and ask some questions to designers or if you want to meet your favorite athletes, uh, I just think that's super dope, man. So I can't wait. Good caller on that, Jack. Yeah, like like Jack said, we're we're truly just we're literally at the beginning. The possibilities are endless. And yeah, tomorrow I think we're going to we're going to we're going to open up our emails to new world. Y'all, thank you so much for joining us on the Dots Who's Community Space episode 4. This was this was a banger. Thank you so much to everyone who came up to speak and share their thoughts. Thank you to everyone who left comments. Um, yeah, this we're gonna we're gonna have a lot more to talk about in the, in the following days. Um, make sure again, I put uh, I put a pin tweet. Uh, make sure you're following all of the official Nike uh, resources: the Insta- the Datsuwoosh Instagram page, the Datsuwoosh Twitter account, uh, as well as the uh, Datsuwoosh uh, blog. On, on Nike, 
feel free to follow everyone here on stage. They they have been involved in Web3. They're enthusiastic about this technology and collecting as well. Like Dre Millie said, make sure to give him a follow if you want to you know join his discussion tomorrow regarding um, the the Nike the the Nike release as well. Man, we we're just getting started. Thank you so much, uh, everyone, for for joining us in this discussion and this journey. And yeah, we're we'll we'll let you know about the next one. Until then, um, let's uh, let's make sure you know we're we're gonna continue to spread the word about Dot Swoosh. Everyone have a fantastic day and rest of your week. <laughs>